here. Welcome back to Classical Coffee, day three. We're going to be talking today about um, Michael Doherty's Sunset Strip, a piece filled with iconic images uh, from our cultural past. And uh, I'm here uh, next to one of the greatest icons of our recent time, a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, it's owned by Dave and Julie Langiano, who are members of the Downshifters uh, uh, Car Club, which has cars like this. We'll show you another image of another car. Um, and they show these cars all over the South Coast uh, during the spring, summer, and fall, Plums Corners and other places. So you need to come out and check them. And, and, and Dave, I, I wonder, why, why did you buy this car? Just as a hobby, yeah. uh, old age relaxation. Okay. Why a 57 Chevy? I had several when I was a child, uh -huh. and I just wanted to... It sort of is the image of cruising on a Saturday night, isn't it? It is. It's, yes, it is. <laughs> it's the quintessential cruising car. Now we're going to talk about Michael Doherty's Sunset Strip. Michael Doherty is a composer who um, studied jazz piano at North Texas State, composition as well. Um, and uh, he was a drummer in a rock and roll band. He used to play piano for silent movies. And he incorporates all those experiences, those, those, uh, those images, sound images in his music that he writes, the classical music. Um, he, what he does is take an image like um, Superman or Rosa Parks or even Elvis or Liberace or, or, or images like Sunset Strip or Niagara Falls, places that mean something to us in our culture. And he writes music about it. That is uh, that weaves together all sorts of patterns of, and images uh, that speak to us on many different levels, much like Poulenc did uh, in in his music. Francis Poulenc was trying to really distinguish a truly French music away from uh, late late nineteenth century German Romanticism and also away from what he considered to be the fussy, fussiness of uh, of Debussy's music. And in doing that, he he drew on. Uh, cabaret music and popular songs of, of Paris, the Paris that he knew and grew up with. And it creates a sense of nostalgia, the sense of emotional connection uh, in the music. Michael Doherty does the same thing with the current images of, of our culture. Um, the, the piece literally is uh, a, a sonic trip down Sunset Strip from 7 p.m. at night to 7 a.m. in the morning. Um, past uh, uh, nightclubs and and dance halls and and bars and mariachi clubs and almost everything that you can imagine, uh, it is also a trip down time uh, through time from 1950 to 1990. We move uh, from from the 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 period of Elvis and the Rat Pack. Uh, uh, T uh, movies uh, of Dean Martin and uh, Frank Sinatra and all of that group up to uh, mariachi and Latin inspired music and, and, and quotes from the 1990s as well. It's rich music. It is, it's fun music. It's music that's intended to, to speak on, as I said before, many different levels. But the, the key element is it's not pretentious music. It is music that's fun, that's exciting, and that is meant to uh, com communicate directly. And uh, so when you hear the piece, I, I think you're going you're gonna to be really surprised and, and you, will, you will hear things that will really connect you to your own past, to your own roots.